How are you all doing today? I just wanted to tell you about a problem that is facing the adolescents of South Carolina, obesity. It is a current topic that all health care providers are discussing, but not many schools in South Carolina are taking the initiative to do something about. Obesity is an especially problematic issue because if it is not dealt with at an early age, it will be a concern for their entire life. The current initiatives in place do not provide enough options and care to serve the overweight and obese adolescents that so desperately need our help. After school programs in our state are underfunded and students in grades K through 8 are not required to attend physical education for a certain amount of time, what I think we can do to confront these issues efficiently is to increase the amount of time each student is in physical education per week as well as the funding provided for after-school programs. South Carolina, as a whole, is not getting enough exercise and daily activity. As a result, we have some of the highest chronic disease rates in the country. Most of these chronic disease rates can be primarily attributed to being overweight and obese. Being obese or overweight can lead to having strokes, diabetes, coronary heart disease, and other various cancers. Considering that a staggering 66.9% of the South Carolina population is overweight and 31.5% is obese, something must be done quickly before these rates raise even higher. Even worse is the fact that adults are not achieving the adequate physical activity needed to maintain a healthy weight. Nearly 26.4% of South Carolina reported not doing any physical activity in the last month. In order to reverse these current trends we must start from the ground up. It is of paramount concern for the health of our state that children learn good habits now so they will not become another statistic. As you would imagine, children emulate their parents' actions. Consequently, we rank very low nationally when it comes to the health of adolescents in South Carolina. Merely 17.1% of adolescents reported being physically active for 60 minutes per day, while 91.2% reported eating vegetables less than three times per day. A lack of activity combined with a deficiency of adequate nutrition is leading to severe health problems in our youth. It is at this stage in life when many young adults form habits that will last their entire lives. We must ensure that they learn the benefit of physical activity and proper nutrition before it is too late. Currently, South Carolina requires physical education for all levels, but for grades K through 8 there is not a mandatory amount of time that students must attend physical education. Furthermore, in grades 9 through 12, students must complete one semester of personal fitness and one semester of lifetime fitness. This simply is not enough time for students to get an adequate amount of physical activity they need to reduce their chances of becoming obese. The National Association for Sport and Physical Education recommends that schools provide 150 minutes per week for elementary school children and 225 minutes per week for middle and high school students to stay in a healthy weight goal. In addition to a lack of physical education time in school, there's also not enough funding for after-school programs. After school programs allow students to further exercise and potentially get a nutritious meal. Teen after-school centers are relatively inexpensive and cost only $1.50 a day per person. When considering that the medical costs associated with obesity are estimated at $137 billion, the cost of after-school programs could be paid for by the savings incurred by lowering obesity rates. Not to mention that in South Carolina, 24% of K-12 through youth are responsible for taking care of themselves after school. This often results in a considerable amount of inactivity and poor nutritional choices for these children. Children who are not currently enrolled in after-school programs would be more likely to participate if an after-school program were available in their community. Essentially the interest is there, but the Funding for these various after-school programs cannot be found. Overall, 
only 15% of South Carolina's K-12 students participate in after-school programs, including the 15,373 kids that are in programs supported by the U.S. Department of Education's 21st Century Community Learning Centers Initiative, which is the only federal program dedicated to after-school. There is not not enough funding for kids who may need it the most in the long run. Potential benefits from providing more physical education in school as well as outside of school would have a dramatic effect on the deteriorating health of many children that, in turn, will boost the population's health as a whole. I believe that improving the health of our youth is the key to changing the obesity epidemic facing this state. To effectively tackle this issue, we must require that schools in South Carolina increase the amount of physical activity that each student takes part in. Secondly, we must increase the funding for after school programs offered at schools. If something is not done soon, obesity could be the downfall of our society. The ever-increasing obesity rates will cause health care costs to become so high that no one will be able to afford the necessary treatment. Please take part in this initiative so that the youth of our generation do not become another statistic.